stress reliever here. And uh, you know what? Today, we had a lot of clouds around in the morning, midday, but gradually during the afternoon, sunnier from west to east, and eventually we got there in Boston. Clear skies and really a gorgeous evening outside. Very mild temperatures are in the 60s to low 70s. We're going to kind of sit and hold here for the rest of the night. Temperatures will not fall back for the rest of this evening. It'll get muggier as well. And it's been a really superlative stretch across much of the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, the south. Some spots in the south were in the triple digits this afternoon in October. Numerous all-time October highs were set today. Quite a few of them will be broken again tomorrow. So it has been an exceptional stretch. The colder air locked up towards the uh, northern Rockies. We have been just kind of fighting some of the warmer air, trying to make its way into New England. A little warmer than the average today. And we're watching these rain showers in the Great Lakes. They should get here later on tonight, middle of the night. So a chance for some passing showers, mild and breezy in the upper 60s. And as we look toward tomorrow morning, a very warm start to the day. But a front will be dropping down from north to south. It's going to bring with it a chance for some showers, but also some cooler air. Right now, it looks like the best chance of showers will be mid-morning through mid-afternoon, starting to the north and then settling down across the region. Not a washout day, but have the rain gear handy. Most of them should be offshore by the evening. Temperature is a big part of the story. So you'll walk out the door, and it's mild, and it's muggy, and it feels like we're going to have an unusual summer day. And most of our highs will be in those first few hours during the morning time frame, well up into the 70s around Boston, along the Mass Pike, Coolest toward New Hampshire, Merrimack Valley, 60s to around 70 there. Then as the day goes on, we'll start to squeeze out the heat. So cooling to the north, still building into the 80s south of the Mass Pike. So some summer air around lunchtime, and then quickly we see that change. So during the later afternoon and the evening, it's 60s region-wide, a much cooler feel. And after that, it's all about the cooler feel. Staying in the 50s for Thursday and Friday, even Saturday, just barely getting to 60 and into the 60s on Sunday. So October has firmly taken the rains away from September. Now, in terms of our rain chances, after tomorrow, watching the next round approaching on Thursday, although it looks like it won't get here until the end of the day. So Thursday is cool, but it's dry, and our chance of rain arrives during the evening and overnight. Thankfully, it's a quick-moving system, so we do get some rainfall, but it heads offshore early on Friday morning. We'll get some clearing skies behind it. And with that, we set up a chilly Friday night. We're talking 30s, a chance of frost out there for much of the area away from the coastline, and a bright blue Saturday. This is going to be your classic fall weather. Tons of sunshine, cool conditions. Sunday, though, clouds will start to increase. Although it's milder, it won't be as bright outside. And with that system on Friday morning, chance to see a little snow leage across the interior of Maine. If you're heading up toward the 100-mile wilderness, yeah, you likely see some light accumulating snowfall there. And behind it all, Saturday morning, this is our best chance of frost. Again, I think it's especially away from the coastline here. Probably going to be the coolest night that we've had so far this season. We're also watching the tropics. Hurricane Lorenzo still has 100 mile per hour winds. Huge wave producer. We're even seeing some of that surf here in New England. But the Azores will really get a hit over the next 24 hours. And then those waves head up toward Ireland. And if you're on the cliffs west side of Ireland, man, it is going to be rocking. Some of the open ocean could see waves up upwards of 90 feet over the next couple of days. And there's your full seven day here at home. Again, Saturday, I think, is the pick of the whole forecast here. David and Paul?